this fucking movie. Ugh. Alright, so if you caught my Legend of Tarzan movie, I said that wasn't the worst film I had seen all week. This was... <sighs> okay, technically not the worst film I seen all week, but in terms of new releases, this was. This was the worst. And I can't even say that it's a terrible film, but... Fuck! I... Sh shit, man! This was a fucking kind of letdown for me. Even though I'm not the biggest Jason Bourne fan, I still like the other movies. Uh, the first one's my favorite, honestly. Uh, I know everyone loves the Paul Greengrass films, but I... Uh, I've never been much on Paul Greengrass's style. Oh, but I, I could at least say that in Born Supremacy and Ultimatum, for the most part, I could tell what was going on. There was some fucking jump cuts that sort of irritated me in those movies, but that's part of his style, and I kind of grew to accept it and thought it was all right. In this movie, this motherfucker does not know how to keep the god damn camera still. He does not know how to have a shot last longer than two to three seconds. At best. This fucking movie. Not, I'm not even mad about the, the actual plot line itself, honestly. I'm not even mad about the characters, even though there is not a real fucking character in this whole movie. There's no three-dimensional characters in the entirety of this film. They're all stock cardboard cutouts that just run by explosions and shit. But this, this, uh, this is the first time, uh, that I've seen a Paul Greengrass film where the camera work pissed me off. Because this was shaky as fuck. I could not tell what was going on. I mean, to oh, to try and mimic that with this camera right here. Just, I mean, so many shots were just fucking god. Oh wait, what's happening? Ah, ah, oh no! Oh, explosion! Yeah, look, there's an explosion. God. Damn it! Uh, I was just... It was like that for two hours and three minutes. Oh, I was so pissed. And to find out afterwards that everyone was still buying the bullshit for, about this, though, still sucking Paul Greengrass's dick for his style for Jason Bourne I was like are you fucking kidding me it would shake uncontrollably like I showed you and I, in like a, a giant fucking crowds of uh, people throwing a riot and the fucking screen is out of focus so it just looks like a bunch of blurry figures sort of mishmashing all together with little bits of blurry flames going on and then the fucking uh, characters would uh, talk to each other through their walkie talkie shit and say like do you spot the target do you, do you have eyes on target and then it'll say like randomly there she is and it's still looking at blurry fucking shaky cam character shit and I'm just like what are you fucking showing me car crashes that it would fucking uh the car would be going this way the camera would go vroom, 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 and i would be like what the fuck is going on what happened what did the car hit fucking uh, there was a part in the movie where jason bourne is interrogating some guy in an elevator and shows gun sh uh, jason bourne uh, holding gun pointing gun at said guy 
then camera fucking panning down so fast all the way down to his crotch and you hear gunshot but you don't see where he shot so it just looks like he shot his dick i i it's it's so poorly shot it it's it's like watching another taken sequel it's ridiculous this is like worse than fucking die hard 5 or fucking Taken 3 movies like that Alex Cross was probably shot better than this movie because at least there were some scenes where the camera stayed still the, there is not a single moment not one scene in this movie where the camera is at least on a fucking tripod invest in a tripod a steady cam did you lose yours, Paul Greengrass, or are you just being an asshole? I mean, this it was ridiculous. Every fucking scene has to be handheld, and it's always moving. So, there are shots, and there are fucking camera shots in this movie where it is showing a phone, and you have to try and read whatever the fuck is said. It's not said by anyone, and if you don't read it, you don't know what's gonna know what's going on. Yeah, it is seriously like that. It is so fucking shaky. I cannot tell what is going on. I can't see what this fucking thing says. I mean, it is insane how this thing is shot. I fucking was praying for this movie to just stay still for the camera guy to say you know what let's just put the camera down on a table and shoot the scene instead because most of this fucking movie if it's not the f fucking chaos action sequences where it is cutting and f fucking out of focus and shaky cam shit it is a lot of close-ups of people's faces. There are times where Tommy Lee Jones, who did not give a shit in this movie, this this is the least amount of shits I've ever seen him give in a movie. He fucking wanted out of this thing so goddamn bad. It was insane. I felt like he, he had a fucking kid that died or something, and he just did not want to be there. I don't know, but he did not want to be there. Anyways, there are shots where he is talking to fucking somebody. I don't, I don't even remember who. But there was a shot in like some sort of restaurant where he's talking to a computer tech guy about some sort of fucking bullshit that's basically Black Briar and uh, Treadstone Part Three. Uh, bullshit all over again only it's now called iron palm iron hand iron fist iron bullshit fucking whatever it is now and he is out of focus he is it, the camera is shaking and he is out of focus for like 30 seconds of this movie I was like are you kidding me are you are you fucking kidding me I I have never seen a Paul Greengrass movie do this. Uh, yeah, it's his style to make it kind of documentary looking, uh, where it's not always, st the camera is not always still. He has kind of zoom ins and shit. But he's, I don't know what his deal was. I don't know if this was him being t uh, just pretentious as fuck, or he was just on a lot of drugs one weekend and said, you know what? I, I, I think it looks good. Let's, let's, fuck it. Fuck it. It looks good. I swear. I, I don't know what his fucking deal was, but there are so many times where it's just like zooming into unfocused shit. Masses of fucking blurry figures that I have no clue what's happening. Zooms into that. And I'm like, why? Why, why are you doing this? Ugh. <sighs> This is probably the first time in a movie that is just honestly forgettable and 
relatively generic, maybe not to the extent of blandness as Legend of Tarzan, but it's about as standard as you can get without being offensive, but totally fucking ruined because of the camera work. I mean, there, there, it has problems aside from itself, because, I mean, character is another huge problem, honestly, because I didn't give a shit about Jason Bourne. I haven't given a shit about Jason Bourne in fucking years in uh, in these sequels. I gave a shit about him in the first movie. Uh, it gave me enough reason to, to uh, be intrigued about what was going on with this guy, this character, who he was, what what was going on with him, with the whole memory loss thing, and what what his whole deal was, it gave me enough reason for that. In the sequels, uh, Supremacy a little bit, I suppose, but after Supremacy, this guy has nothing. He has no fucking charisma. He's he's just there to beat people up and shoot people. That's, that's fucking it. It's like if you said Jason Bond, uh, J James Bond would be really cool if he just didn't talk and didn't have any fucking charisma whatsoever, then he'd be badass. Bullshit. Fucking, even the worst James Bond movies, I can at least say, you know what, Roger Moore did a good enough job to fucking be charming. Sure, why fucking not? He's my least favorite James Bond, but he's better than Jason fucking Bourne, that stoic as shit, doesn't give you any fucking thing. I don't even blame Matt Damon for this. I like Matt Damon, honestly. I've I've liked Matt Damon since I was a kid. The first thing I ever saw him in was uh, fucking Dogma, I believe. <laughs> As this fucking murderous uh, angel or whatever. I still liked him in it. <laughs> I, I like him. I even liked him in uh, uh, last year's uh, The Martian, uh, Ridley Scott's The Martian. I like that movie just fine. In a Jason Bourne movie, if Doug Lyman apparently isn't giving him anything to work off of, he doesn't give you jack shit. <laughs> and I don't blame Matt Damon for that at all. I'm blaming Paul Greengrass because that's been his problem since forever. I've I've never really liked his his style. I've never been a big fan of his work, but everyone seems to suck his dick on most of his movies, so maybe I'm missing something. But yeah, I mean, character-wise, I there's no one to get invested in. There's no amount of levity brought to these characters. I don't know anything about them except for Jason Bourne likes to kick, punch, and shoot people. And he has to figure out another mystery that's Treadstone again, basically, and save the day. I fucking don't fucking care. There's another head of fucking government shit, uh, Tommy Lee Jones, who this movie basically pretends like he's been around since the very beginning, and it's all been leading up to this. Bull fucking shit it's been leading up to this. This motherfucker. You cannot trick me into thinking that this guy has been behind everything since fucking day one of born identity. I, I don't fucking buy it. I don't fucking care. I don't care about this fucking plot about uh, the national security being in danger again and fucking secret soldiers. Give me something else. Give me any fucking thing else. Give me a revenge plot about fucking Jason Bourne. So maybe, maybe that'll fucking give me something. There's a slight subplot where he's finding out the shit about his dad or whatever. And uh, that his dad died and all because of this shit. Uh, give me a revenge plot about that. Even though I'm pretty sure he still has fucking uh, amnesia about it all. I don't care. Give me something. Give me something to be invested in. This guy is nothing. There is nothing to him and fucking your shaky cam shit and your old shit generic fucking spy government crap isn't giving me anything to fucking care about, to be invested in. I don't care. For two hours and three minutes, I wanted to be out of there. I wanted to be done with this fucking movie 
I mean, in the same week that I saw Jason Bourne, I saw ten times the amount of entertainment value in a movie called Nerve. That is so much fucking better. It has more to say than your fucking bullshit uh, government spy crap about national security. It has more character and heart in it than you will ever have Jason Bourne, the movie, not, well, and the character. So much, and more fucking style, and I could tell what was going on. Fucking Nerve has the same director as two of the Paranormal Activity movies and not the ones that were well received, has better character, story, camera work, and entertainment value than your bullshit Paul Greengrass fucking Jason Bourne cockamamie motherfucking bullshit. I, I know I'm getting really angry about this. I probably shouldn't be getting so mad over something so stupid as this. But it, it's just, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. I like Born Legacy a lot more than this. You know why? That gave me a fucking character that I can root for. The Jeremy Renner character. I liked his character. I liked seeing Jeremy Renner kick some ass. When Matt Damon kicks ass in a Born movie, I don't care. It's shot just to made it, uh, make him look like a badass, while Jeremy Renner makes it to where it's just natural. He is just badass. The camera doesn't have to try to make him look badass. The movie doesn't have to try to write it to where it's trying its fucking hardest to make this guy be a badass. Jeremy Renner just is bad fucking ass. And Matt Damon's Jason Bourne, not so much. I mean, in Born Identity, I, w I was totally fine with his character. I thought, you know what, he had some kick-assery moments that worked. That worked fine, but like I said, I dig Doug Liman's uh, style way over Paul Greengrass's. I, any day of the week, I'd rather watch Doug Liman's stuff than Paul Greengrass's. And that's even the best of Paul Greengrass. I'd rather fucking watch Edge of Tomorrow, please. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. You know, uh, so, uh, I've probably, I've repeated myself a lot, uh, for this thing. I've said more than my two cents worth. Uh, if you love the Born Supremacy and Ultimatum, Maybe this is for you. For me, I was I was done five minutes in when I realized, oh god, this fucking camera is going to be shaking like this the entire movie, isn't it? And it did. It did. There was there was no character I could latch onto, no story that I thought was unique enough from the other sequels that I could get really all that invested in. I didn't care. I, that That's that's uh, two, two fucking major issues with this movie. I didn't care with this movie. I didn't care. And the fucking camera work. That if you hate shaky cam, then stay away from this. But if you're one of the fucking critics that I've been seeing sucking Paul Greengrass's dick for his style of shaky cam documentary look, then you'll still fucking like it, apparently. Good for you, because I fucking couldn't stand it in this. I've never had this big of a problem with this stuff before. This, I could not fucking take any more of this. If this was... Uh, if this was a worse written movie... Like, if it wasn't just so standard, if this was actually terrible, I would have thought about probably leaving so I could readjust my fucking eyes and say, uh, say you know what, I, I don't need to see the rest. 
but since it was so fucking standard, I, I was like, whatever, fuck it, I'll stay, why not? I didn't pay anyways to go in, so, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so that's that, That's all I got on Jason Bourne. Stay tuned for the, the several others that I still haven't reviewed yet. <laughs> Bye. Look who's here, look who's here, there's a boy I'm mad about, oh my dear.